Hey guys, this is Jack from the Slammers Video Blogger. This is a video of everything Mori Wills from opening night, my interview with him, him signing autographs, him doing the first pitch, him doing being introduced by um uh the commissioner and the general manager. And I, when I interviewed him, I couldn't tell if he was being funny or just couldn't remember stuff. He was a very nice guy, though. Enjoy the video, guys. Alright, so, um, hi, I'm Jackson Trailer Slammer's video blogger. First, what, what was it like to win the MVP in 1962? Oh, it was a good feeling. I had players like Willie Mays, who was second to me. That was 1962, right? Yeah. And this is, what, is, what year was this? 2011. 2011, he's still telling me he should have gotten it. So yeah. I said, Willie, it's been a long, we got a long time ago now, we gotta let it go. Yeah. How Yeah, how did you get here to come work for the Slammers for spring training and I'm opening day? I'm friends with the president and general manager, Mr. John Dietrich. Oh, cool. And uh, I got to meet the yeah, owner, Al Arimis. I got a ball up there. Mr. Al Arimis. And they came to spring training and they asked me if I'd come and be a part of their organization. Oh, cool. Um, so, here I am. What's your biggest thrill in the MLB? Like Major League Baseball, biggest thrill? Yeah. I had so many. What's your first name again? Jackson. I had so many Jackson. Um, I was MVP in the All-Star Game in Washington, D.C., 1960. 62. The same year you were the that's MVP? That's my hometown. Where? Washington DC, I was born and oh, raised cool. here and I played as a kid and I was your age. And now all my friends and family were at the ballpark and I and I got the trophies being the MVP player. That was quite a thrill. Cool. cool, do you remember the first autograph you ever signed? Maybe when I signed my first contract. Uh -huh. When I was seventeen. That was 1950, in September. And the scouts came to my home, because they had to have my parents' permission because I was only 17, and I signed the contract. All right. We'll throw into it, right? So please, one more hand for Chris Manichick, the winner of our Name the Team contest. Of course, we want to make sure that this next gentleman is well known to uh, all of you tonight. We want to make sure that he's a part of our family. He's going to be uh, officially inducted into the Slammers family tonight. He's a member of my family. We've known each other for some 30-some years. We have the same baseball father, Bobby Reagan. This gentleman that we're going to introduce now is one of the greatest ball players of all time. He was a shortstop for the Los Angeles Dodgers during their glory years in the 60s. He broke in with the Dodgers in 1959. And he uh, managed to uh, break in as a rookie after eight and a half years in the minors. Still had a long career in the major leagues. And of course became one of the most prolific. 104 bases in 1962 breaking the long-standing record of Ty Cobb, and I think that is the longer-standing record than even Babe Ruth's home run record was. When he stole 104 bases in 1962, he was also the National League Most Valuable Player in 1962, a seven-time National League All-Star, and in 1962, again, he won the Hickok belt as the greatest athlete in the world. I'd like you to give a great Joliet welcome to our newest official slammer, Mr. Maury Wills. Woo! And now Bill Wilski will put his slammer's jersey. We've got number six, that's the number he wore in the minor leagues. He wore number 30 for the Dodgers. Okay, Maury, you're officially a slammer now. You've got your hat and your jersey. member of the Slammers family base here with Stuart Air, and he'll be throwing the first pitch to middle number nine, Ben Hewitt, bringing in Massachusetts. 
Off the bullpen goes to Wills. The screwball! Thanks, Corey. 